I'm not worried about the nightshade. This is the um, capstone show for the STEM Institute. And um, around us are booths for all of the classes that the kids have taken. There's one for the amateur radio class. There's one for the chemistry class, one for the Photoshop and graphic design class. Behind me is a projection screen for the video game programming class, which is the one that I taught. And the kids are showing off the games that they made this week. Our mission was to create a quality experience uh, in science, uh, technology, uh, engineering, and math. And so all of the classes were around those, those four themes. They're expecting something different than regular school. And so they come with a different mindset. Uh, in, in reality, uh, you know, we want them to explore, we want them to discover. Uh, that's what this week is about. And, uh, and so that's what we expect, that's what they come with, and that's what we've seen. This is the monster truck I built in the, built in the monster truck class. Uh, I learned a bunch about um, trial and error, logic, math, and just sort of problem solving. We've gotten a lot of positive feedback from the parents. They love seeing the work that their kids have done. I think the parents are also starting to, to see the potential in their kids and what they can be, and um, that this week has been really motivating for their students and um, really exciting for everybody. My son Simon took the video game programming class and he is super excited now about programming. Uh, he's been an avid gamer, now he, I think he's going to turn into an avid programmer. So it's been very exciting to see him so passionate about, uh, about something, so it's great. I really enjoyed seeing not just my children, but all the children uh, uh, working with science and technology. Uh, I thought it was awesome. The STEM Institute is designed uh, to, to give kids the kind of skills that were identified in uh, the Nation at Risk study back in the 90s, uh, skills that they're going to need in the 21st century. So in terms of the relationship between what we're doing and the district goals, uh, this fits in nicely with the 21st century goals that, uh, that the school board has set for us. I think it's good. It's a more relaxed environment. Uh, the kids see it as looking, uh, it was fun. They look forward to getting up every morning and coming to this, so they really enjoyed themselves. So it was a break, it's not school, uh, but very educational and very fun. The type of learning is amazing. It's hands-on learning there. Uh, it's uh, applying the sciences to real life, so it's not just, um, not just on paper, but it's how they're going to use it. So, uh, so they're going to value it more and it's going to mean something to them. So I think this is called Ublik and uh, it's a uh, Newtonian uh, matter and uh, it uh, exists in kind of two different forms. One is liquid and if you move slowly it'll get all over you. If you move quickly you can walk right over the top of it. <laughs> Some of the kids really have a spark in them that they're going to take this to the next level after the week is over. And I think that's what one of the goals of the week was, that we wanted to sort of plant a seed in these kids to show them that this is something that they can do, something that's interesting, something that's motivating to them. And um, a lot of these kids are starting to get ideas in their head of what they want to be when they grow up. And so the classes they've taken this week directly feed into those dreams of theirs, and this will help them accomplish their dreams.